In these turbulent times, communities big and small need strong representation and a strong community spirit. The Beverly Hills Chamber of Commerce has been the voice of business in Beverly Hills since 1923 and has more than 800 local businesses as members. Todd Johnson is CEO and President and Todd, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell us the role your chamber has played during the pandemic. Well, it's been a vital role. Um, we work closely with the city uh, throughout the year anyway. And this year it's obviously been that much more because of this uh, pandemic. We, we have close to 800 members. Um, our biggest role is probably communication, communicating to to everyone and getting the word out because it changes as you know mm. just about hourly it seems um so we're continually getting information out to members both from the city and then on also from the county and from the state of california uh, today they had a big announcement because they've decided to, to pull back on eating in restaurants and they've taken that uh, away and now it's only you're only able to eat outside and dine outside or take take out food. So um, our, our role has been simply communication, but also advocacy. There's been a lot of uh, laws that the state and some people are trying to get through kind of under the under the radar, so to speak, that is pretty bad for business. So we certainly monitor that and are big advocates for the business community on that aspect as well. Do you think the, the governments, uh, local, state and federal, are doing enough? Oh, well, I think, I think the challenge is, is who, do you, who do you believe? Um, which, which source of information do, do you listen to? Um, and, that, and that starts all the way up at the federal, out of the White House, all the way down to um, local government. Um, I think it's uh, it's been extremely interesting. Let's put it that way. I I, I think <clears throat> in some way that they've done an awful lot, but I think in other ways, in hindsight, we probably should have done things differently. Mm. Uh, but when dealing with a pandemic on this size, you know, you have forty million people in California. That's bigger than a lot of countries. Mm. Um, so we're that's an awful that's a big task to take on. on want. I wouldn't want the, the mayor or the governor's job by any means. Now, Beverly Hills uh, is a very swisho area, as they would say, in the uh, backwaters of the rest of the world. Uh, what, what are the businesses or what sectors have been, say, affected most by COVID-19 and all these restrictions and the topsying and the turving of, of, uh, of governments, including local and state? Yeah. Well, I think of all the industries, I mean, virtually there's only a couple industries that weren't hurt too much in this. And it's it's obviously, I think, the banking industry, the uh, the banking world hasn't taken a, too big of a hit. Mm -hmm. um, but Beverly Hills is known for luxury and for um, a lot of visitors. A lot of people come from out of state and out of the country. So tourism is taking a monster hit. Our hotels, normally we have uh, 18 hotels that all run in the 90 plus percentile of occupancy year round. So we're full most of the time and they've all been down in single digit mm. occupancies since, uh, well, since March, middle of March to April. And that's a big hit on everyone. The economy, as far as a TOT tax, was a transient occupancy tax. The city doesn't have that money coming in because the hotels aren't bringing that in. Uh, the local restaurants um, are not getting the people coming in or the shoppers, right? Rodeo Drive. Um, the hotels themselves are taking monster hit. So it's that industry is really taking a big hit. And it's going to take quite some time to come back. Whether you're in Beverly Hills, New York, um, Salinas in, uh, in California, Hong Kong, anywhere in the world, 
same question can be asked, but I haven't yet found someone with the answer. What do you do to get through the next six, 12, 18 months at least? Yeah. Well, I think, <clears throat> you know, some of that depends on how bad this comes back. Mm. Um, you know, we were anticipating a second round of this, but more in the, you know, geez, in the fall or even in the winter. And here it is July and mm. California has got an uprise on this. Um, and it seems to be because of Memorial Day weekend. A lot of people went out Memorial Day weekend between Memorial Day and all the protests with uh, Mr. Floyd, who died. Um, I think there was a lot of spreading of it then, and we're, mm. we're seeing the uprise in that now. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what it's going to take. I think I think you're right in the aspect. It's going to be. It's going to be a year or two before we get back to any kind of normalcy. Um, probably close to three years before we get back to the numbers that we were the first quarter of this year, January and February. What can uh, your chamber do or what can basically any, any chamber do to, to help your members or their members? Well, we, my chamber, uh, we do over 200 events a year. Yeah, we have some events that we have uh, seven to 800 people come. So I asked my staff, I said, we're going to have to think outside the box. And uh, so within about 60 days, we put together a virtual um, campaign called Back to the Business, Back, Back to Business campaign. Mm -hmm. And we actually had the event yesterday. So it's all online. It's... Uh, and I'll be very quick because we ended up having close to 300 people wow. um, get involved with it. Mm. And it was, we had over 65 um, well-known upper echelon in their industries talking about well, what's the, what's the luxury real estate world now after this, or what, what is the hotel business? Mm. Um, what are, what's the restaurant business? What's the retailers, all the, all the folks on Rodeo Drive. I mean, how have they, how they had to change their business in order to do it? And I think, I think everywhere in the world, but certainly what we're striving for here in Beverly Hills is getting people's trust back. Mm -hmm. Because people are going to be very cautious um, on going back out, going out to restaurants, going out to a theater or to a gym or anything, because they're, they're unsure of this. This is a, you know, it's a it's a scary disease. It has a nasty outcome to it, and I think until we get a virus or until we get a uh, a vaccine, it's going to be continue to be people are going to be very cautious, and that's and that's hurting economics hugely. Every the airline business, mm -hmm. and you know who flies, who doesn't fly, and um, so it's it, this has been pretty devastating, as I'm sure you can invest to in your country as well. Just, uh, uh, you know, very concerning. Do we, you know, for those that go for a walk, of course, with your face mask uh, down Rodeo Drive, can you still see plenty of Maseratis, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Rollers? Yeah, yeah, they they are, uh, you, you know, you don't see as much. No, because they're resting, you see, they're resting, and they're well, at that, that particular that, age. Yeah, there's, and you know, it's interesting because there is a certain... Uh, there's a certain client that comes to Beverly Hills. They actually fly here with those cars. We, we still have the luxury cars around, you know, Rodeo drive is, uh, fully open mm. and, you know, recovered from the, the, uh, the, the protests that we had about mm. a month ago. Um, so we're, we're back on track and you still see, you know, you come here, it still is, luxury mm. i think the brand the name beverly hills is probably one of the strongest names in the world as far as luxury and recognizing you know everyone knows everyone knows the name beverly hills and mm. that's one of our strengths lovely part of the world uh, some fabulous businesses there too if somebody wants to find out more about the chamber how do they do that todd you know, our website is uh, stocked full of all kinds of information, um, but it's just www.beverlyhillschamber.com. And 
you can go on there and virtually find just about anything you need, whether it be a certain kind of business you're looking for, if you want to open businesses. We do outreach trips every year, uh, mostly to New York City, we go to San Francisco, mm-hmm. and we meet with businesses. And businesses that have either contacted us that want to come to Beverly Hills or businesses that are unique that we have found that we think that should be here in Beverly Hills or certainly many of the headquarters of the the big shopping businesses in Beverly Hills are in New York, either New York or London more often. Mm-hmm. So, but we're actually talking with four different businesses from New York that want to come to Beverly Hills. Mm. You know, there are companies that have the, the, the vision and they also probably have the capital obviously to be able to expand when things like this happen, because we are going to have definitely space available. Um, there's going to be vacancies, and I think there'll be some pretty good deals around um, from our landlords mm. for spaces that maybe wouldn't have been the case 90 days ago. No. Now, the other question is, would my Pinto uh, fit in the uh, up and down uh, Rodeo Drive? Would it mix with the, you know, the Maseratis and the Ferraris, or do I have to keep my Pinto in the garage? Well, you, you have my permission to drive it down because it's... You know, you never know who's behind the wheel and what they have, right? You can't judge, uh, can't judge someone by their cover, so that's for sure. But I won't drive it during hard rubbish day, of course, because they yeah. might take that away along with me in it. Look, Todd, great that chatting, might, yeah. great talking with you, Todd. It's a terrible time for everybody globally. Uh, nobody really knows when we're getting out of it, how we'll get out of it, and the uh, whether the cure is going to be worse than the disease. Todd, thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it.